This is Jeremy. And George. 2018. It was, how, how would you describe it, George? I don't know about you guys, but it's been one hails of a year. Oh, yeah. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, my year, 2018, it was going down hails real quick. And then all of a sudden, mid-2018, it was going up hails just as fast. Why do you think it went up hails? I'll tell you later. <laughs> so what we thought we'd do is show you a little bit of the excitement, some of the best finds, and our favorite units from 2018. But don't worry. This is all new material, mm -hmm. all new footage. Right, George? That's right. Let's look back as we continue to move forward. You'll be able to find all of these original videos in the description of this video right down below. Hit it, open it, watch them. We're here in the warehouse and Jeremy and I are going to take you through our top six favorite storage unit. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to call this one number six and then we're going to give every unit a name. So tell me, what do you name this unit? Well, most subscribers have called this the furry unit. Do you know why? Because it has furry things. What do you think? Is this a scarf? I'm not sure what that is. Well, I, dangles. I had no clue what this was either. There you go. There's some orbs for everybody. <laughs> Until I Googled what I found in this unit, which was rain forest and then i found out that there's this whole group of individuals who go to a rainforest conference and this is what they call furries and so i'm not going to get into too much detail there it's pretty weird it's a very small niche but i can tell you that most of these individuals get kicked out of hotels because they destroy everything and it's a little bit of an adult deviant, we'll say that, as far as taste. So We're this, not about that life. Not at all. <laughs> and so it's an odd one. It's the furry unit, number furry. six. Mm -hmm. So tell us what else is significant about this unit. Well, in all reality, uh, this unit became the unit where I understood for the first time that other people really wanted to see this stuff okay. and and be a part of it so what really cued me off to that when i was at the actual auction the local newspaper was there and they did a whole article and write up on me buying the unit now did the local newspaper come because of the amount of money you bid on the unit or because what was inside the unit neither because they didn't know how much i was going to bid and they had no clue what was going to be in it it's just the whole aspect of everybody loves this stuff storage wars and it was blowing up big that they wanted to do a local a no, a local uh, article so i got extremely lucky because I thought there was a Star Wars comic in this unit. There wasn't. But there was plenty of other treasures. For example, let me show you the front of this cover. Whoops. The front of this cover. Okay. Games Workshop. This is filled with Warhammer 40K figurines. Go ahead, George, if you can. If you can show that there. Now... It goes deeper. Can you pick up just the corner of that, fo that foam, George? It goes layer upon layer upon layer. And I have thousands, if not more, of figurines. Wow. So the money that I spent, honestly, is there just in the figures. Some of these sell for quite an expensive amount on eBay. And that's where you would want to sell something like this, would be on eBay. And the case wasn't the only thing. I have boxes upon boxes of brand new items. As you can see, they're spilling out on the floor as usual. And so this unit became a treasure chest for me, not only just in Warhammer and collectible items like that, but video games. This guy was a gamer. And so that was a great thing as well. And the very first thing I did was sell all the video games on eBay, and that paid for the unit. Everything else is profit. It's pretty cool in re that regard. But... So for those of our viewers that wanted to know how you started your YouTube channel, would this be the unit? Well, no, because the YouTube channel actually started when uh, I needed things to do with a little girl that 
I was hanging out with and honestly raising all day, every day. And so it started that way, but then the tweaking and the changing and finding out what people wanted to see, this helped tremendously to go, people want to see this. Now, you also have to understand that in this unit, you aren't part of my life yet, unfortunately, at this point. But in this unit, I called the previous owner because we both know there's always a story in every unit, right? Right. Okay. You always tell us that there's a story behind every unit and why the unit became abandoned. So why don't you share that with us? All right. So with this guy, and again, you can usually tell the story within the paperwork that's in the unit. Now, this paperwork... <laughs> Dare I show you, remember, what's in every unit, George? A story. Okay, a story plus adult, adult items. <laughs> okay, so for example, in this unit, the paperwork is um, rather explicit, shall we say, cartoonistic, and there is a ton of it. So imagine somebody such as myself, so pure and wholesome and... <laughs> And, and just downright oblivious to this stuff, opening up a binder to find all kinds of animals with sexual parts. <laughs> Completely and totally shocked. With human parts. Now, one of my favorite comments on this actual video okay. on YouTube was, was a woman that said, This person is so innocent. He has no <laughs> idea what he's touching. And you were right. <laughs> No clue. But the previous owner, he couldn't pay. So for three years, his items were stored. Wait, hold on a second. So his storage unit was delinquent for three years. Three He had three years, years. to redeem his possessions. So he says, oh, I forgot I even had it. But he remembered that his unit was going up for auction. George, guess what? He loved wolves. You want to guess what's in here? Wolves. Uh, why don't you open it up and show the camera? So he forgot that his unit was in Ohio. Oh. Right? A wolf knife? What is that, a clock? Looks like a pocket watch. So completely forgot his unit's in Ohio in storage, but remembers the exact day when it's going to be auctioned off and asked the business to give his number to me, the new owner. And I call him. And I offer it back to him for what I paid for it, which was $1,400. He goes, oh, man, I just forgot. For three years it was there. I just didn't know. He goes, well, I can only come up with $500. I'll drive up there, and he's on the other part of the country. I said, all right, well, let's get back together. And then I never heard from him again. But ever. he knew when the storage unit was yeah. going up for auction. Sounds a little too coincidental. But <laughs> you have to realize, if it wasn't a priority in his life for three years... It wasn't going to be a priority the day that I bought it either. So all he did was have a conversation with me and I never heard from him again. That's the story. It's done. Most of the time, most of the units I buy, they're, people are in jail, drugs, things along those lines. This one, I think basically, he ran out of cash and didn't care anymore. That's what it amounted to. Sounds like it. But number five, much different story. Ready to dig in? Yes. So let's move on to unit number five. We're in unit number five. Tell us what the name of this unit is. Well, I like to call this unit the Rudy Ray Moore or the Dolomite unit because it was actually a lot of his personal belongings and possessions and items from the movies that are in this unit. So tell us how much you paid for the unit. $265. The unit was huge and it was even a bigger mess. It was crazy. So nobody wanted to mess around with it. But I heard whispers that there was a movie star's items inside of it. So I rolled the dice, took a chance, and never looked back. <laughs> Tell us, have you sold anything from this unit? Well, there are all kinds of crazy items to sell. Like, for example, I've got the Dolomite t-shirts that he was giving away. I've got his actual wigs from the movies. I've got items that he wore, such as, here's his jacket, here's his pants. I've got tapes. That are still wrapped up, I see. Still wrapped up. I've got... All of his movies. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. I've got his Altoids promo 
right here. So even Altoids hired him to do a promo for their mints. And so it was, it's hard out here for a mint, which was one of his cliches. So you name it, I probably have it. And I have sold some of this unit already to a party that cannot be shared at this point in time, but came from the other side of the country to buy the items. I am still in contract with them until I can share with you who purchases it and is purchasing it and for how much so. But who would have ever thought that a little farm boy with a big body uh, would have ever bought a, a 60s, 70s movie actor unit and then people from the other side of the country would have found them on YouTube. On YouTube That's found how them. they found me. They found the video on YouTube. Because of they were... They were actually going on YouTube to copyright. hit copyrights for people showing videos mm -hmm. that were against copyright law. And they found my video, contacted me, and we started negotiations that way. So it sounds like all of the items in the unit are on hold right now. And... You're letting them get first dibs until they can figure out exactly the because next steps. who wouldn't want Rudy Ray Moore Dolomite briefcase or any of I mean you name it I probably have it from family pictures and photos to all of his mail I I have it and he passed away obviously so unfortunately. He passed away, but fortunately, I've been able to preserve the items and put them in the hands of individuals that would preserve them as well. But it goes even a little bit better than that why I like this one. because Tell us when the movie's supposed to be premiering. There's a new movie coming out. Why don't you tell us who's going to be the star of it? There's supposed to be a remake of the movie starring Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, the guy that laughs like this. <laughs> He's known for his contagious laugh. He's the one who's supposed to play the main character of Dolomite. Dolomite. He's also known for his contagious love of Dolomite. <laughs> so part of our negotiations are we are asking, and this is part of the sale process, uh, we are asking Red Carpet us to be there at the movie premiere with the cast and crew. Does that include... Airfare and hotel stay? Baby, you ain't got to worry about a <laughs> thing. We're now in unit number four. And this unit holds a close place to my heart because it was the very first unit that I bid on and won at live auction. Let me share with you what my favorite item was from this unit. I'll be right back. I bet we'll never be able to guess what her favorite thing is. This sword. What are the odds of me finding a sword in my first unit? Um, about one in one. <laughs> that would be my guess on the odds. Okay, George, what was the whole story behind this? Because, like, again, we said there's a story in every unit. Right. What was the story? So the story that we were able to put together was that this was that this unit belonged to an. <laughs> An elder couple that passed away and maybe their their children put it in storage and just kind of left it there, forgot about it, really didn't care. Can we see some of the items? Yeah. There's the Duke. Who is that, George? The Wayne. The, the Duke? The John <laughs> Wayne? The Wayne. They were definitely John Wayne fans. Who else were they huge fans of? From what we saw, they were huge Elvis fans. Big time. This is still wrapped in a plastic in plastic. Elvis book. A picture of Elvis. Now, George, many people ask all the time. You guys ask and you say, hey, has anyone ever seen your video, contacted you, and said, hey, that's my stuff. George, do you remember what happened with this unit specifically? One of our YouTubers thought he was looking at his childhood memory 
as Jeremy was doing the unboxing, but it turns out that some of the items in the unit look similar to his because the names that were linked to the unit, he had no affiliation, had no idea who they were. So it was a whoops, my bad call. George, you can't go wrong when you find the king and the duke in the same unit, but no. really what we want to know, you as the queen of this operation, what did you learn going to your first storage unit and buying? Um, well, what I learned is that you need an ID because they're going to ask for a photo ID when you go to a storage unit auction. Um, some locks, depending on how many units that you decide to buy, you want to bring your own locks. So bring multiple locks in case you end up bidding and winning on several units. And then more importantly, the moolah. You're going to need money. That's what I learned. Number three is one that people are still asking about, the shady guy unit. Now, many of you want to know what happened, Jeremy. Okay, here's the deal. Number one, we don't know if it was the true original previous owner. What we do know is he could not bid on the unit and he could not send a representative to bid on the unit. I was not affiliated with him. We do know that I can legally do anything I want with everything I own after I buy a unit. So I legally could sell it back to him or anybody else. So what I did was absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. I made 12 hundred dollars everybody asking says what about the 200 bucks did you go back did you jack check and make sure he cleaned it no because i never paid the security deposit i just took the money and i made the money without ever lifting one finger not a bad deal that whole unit was sold back to that individual because i then purchased another unit the one we're looking at here now remember that first one was Shady Guy, that was 375, which then led me to the $250 Star Wars unit that you guys love. George, why don't you show them just a little bit. All of this here is the Star Wars unit. And as you can oh, tell, yes. we haven't even opened it all yet. Things are still sealed. There's so much. This is the kind of unit that we dream about in this business. Everything is shelved organized it's sealed it's labeled it's priced already and your favorite in totes <laughs> i love love totes there's well more than 250 dollars worth of totes as a matter of fact while we're talking about it we might as well open one up that we haven't done before except do you not have a knife again i don't have a knife do you want to borrow mine or do you want to manhandle Can i well, <laughs> give me a second <laughs> Let's see you manhandle it first. No, don't gnaw on it. Can I borrow your knife, please? Yes, you can. Thank you, George. <laughs> Always trust you to have something sharp with you. All right, here we go. There we go. There's one there. Now, this unit is a profiling dream come true. And because of this unit, I can tell you that I will be working on it for years. So often people want to know, what or how much money did you make on a unit? Well, I can't tell you any of that yet because I haven't sold it all. You, you can see there's stuff I still haven't even opened. I'm not ready to sell it all. But look at that little cedar ball help th keep things fresh in there. This guy was amazing. Love this guy. Two little cedar balls. <laughs> so tell us about the story behind this unit. Oh, wait. Before I tell you, three, three cedar balls, cedar balls <laughs> in this unit. Can you juggle those? No, but watch this. Are you ready? Watch. Keep watching. <gasps> okay, so the story behind this unit. <laughs> Obviously, the gentleman, who is an incredible individual, passed away. Left the unit to his son, someone had nothing to do with it. So it goes up for auction. I and it buy was it. delinquent for how, for how long? Oh, it was a long time. It Two was years? delinquent. It was a long time. And so it, they usually will hold on to them for a long, long time. They can auction them after three months. But it was a long time. But do you want to know what my favorite item in this unit was? What was your favorite item? Wasn't all the knives that we found. If you recall, it was... <clears throat> Oh, yes. 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 My favorite, too. Yes. The fencing knives. It was... I need these to sell on eBay. Okay, there's one. It was the fencing 
Well, we called them the fencing swords, but then we were corrected that they are called foils. So you want to take those home tonight and sell them on eBay? Yes. All right, George is taking them to sell on eBay, but before you do, here we go. She's posting them tonight, but you get to see them one more time. And yes, she did beat me in a fencing fight. <laughs> Unit number two. Dose. Tell us about this unit. What's the name of this unit? Well, um, it's not die hard. <laughs> it's uh, make a lot of money. This is probably my favorite unit I have ever purchased. I bought it on storagetreasures.com. I mm. profiled it correctly, and it's my favorite because I think it has the highest potential of profit. Now, Tell us how much you paid for it. I paid three hundred and twenty or three hundred and three hundred and twenty dollars for this unit. Okay. Packed and filled. It was an old movie store that then went out of business. Put everything inside a storage unit. Let's just take a peek at it real quick. The contents of this unit just happened to be the very first unit that ended up into the warehouse as well with hundreds and hundreds of what are called standees in these cardboard boxes. They're movie promotional items and thousands of posters, as we can see straight down here, rolled up and back in there. If it's the right movie and the right condition, I have potential of tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars just within these boxes. And the beautiful part is, you see the movie posters, the promotional posters, many of them are still covered in the original plastic. And they are everywhere. George is working on selling all of these characters from this unit on eBay, even now made out of plaster, ESCO-type individual items. Whoops, lost my head. Here are some of the really cool items packed in the back from the old promo lighted screens. Look, there's even a VHS sign. All kinds of paperwork. Ah, I just love this unit. There's so much potential. Cool, some of these things are. Oh, wow. So, was this the first unit you got online? Well, it actually, it was. It was from storagetreasures.com, and it was the first one. We got Cool Runnings. Do you remember Cool Runnings? I do. Bobsled Mon. <laughs> yeah, right there. So, Cool Runnings, this is all. These things sell for hundreds of dollars. The Another Stakeout, the Three Musketeers is in here as well. So, yeah, I got this one on storagetreasures.com. Here. And so for those of the people that haven't seen, ooh, Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. That haven't seen the video, what did you do in that video? Well, one of the things I did in that video is I taught people to actually cherry pick. And so I, I paid a $100 clean out fee, left the rest of the stuff that I didn't want behind. Now, lots of people have commented and said, hey, have you been banned from storagetreasures.com because of it? And the answer was no, but I just checked with my account. Nine months later, I finally got banned. Or my account, something else could have happened with my account. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I just created another account. All you do with storagetreasures.com, you give them an email address. And then, that's your account. And if you get banned, so what? Create another email address. Boom, you're there again. Storagetreasures.com is just a third party. They just connect you with the auction facility. That's it. And they take a cut. And if you get banned, you get banned, you create another account, you're back in. Just like when you get on the Harley Davidson. Do you think that you got banned or because your your account was inactive? Uh, most likely my account was inactive because I preferred the live auctions, but now that it's so cold, I want I want the actual I want the actual storage uh, treasure auctions again. A double dose of excitement. Twice the rental action, the River Wild, and Double Dragon. Do you remember that? I that was, do remember that, that one. That was a video game. This one's made after the video game. 
That's double dragon. Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Wes Craven's new nightmare. I'm not a fan of horror movies. Not me either, but I bet somebody out there is. Somebody paid for it. I got hundreds of these. It just goes on and on and on. There's oh, I remember the movie, Junior, with Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold. Let's hear your best Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. I'll be back. Yeah, it's not very good. Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty good. Emma Thompson, Danny DeVito, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jr. There's the whole promotional piece right there. Still in the, the box. box. Sealed. Never been out. Sealed. And now we're down to our number one favorite find of 2018. Oh, this is about to go down. Do we need a drum roll? I could give a drum roll. Well, I mean, can you do that with swords? I could, but I don't have any right now. I'm sure that's about to change in 2019. <laughs> Come one more storage unit and this woman will be packed with swords. Ninja. All right. So the number, number one. Number one find of uh -huh. 2018 is <gasps> you, you guys, our subscribers. You. We couldn't do any of this without you. As we a matter have. of fact, we never ever would have dreamed, thought, realized that you would invite us into your homes with your families on a daily basis. We don't even understand why and you do. your cable. <laughs> yeah. Canceled your cable and watch what the hell, what the hells what were, the hell you were you thinking? <laughs> so this has been Jeremy. And George. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you get, get the, the notifications. notifications. And remember. Adventure awaits. You got to go find it. But we also want to let you guys know. Happy, happy New, New Year's. This is Jeremy. And George. So from the bottom of our hearts, George, what do we say? We want to thank you. Thank you. Sing it. Sing thank it, Thank you, Sing Magic it. Toenail. Wow. <laughs> Singing my favorite song now. You want to know what my New Year's resolution is? What? You. Ha, 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 ha.